crystalline sodium nitrate and we're going to be heating it to determine or to investigate how stable it is to heat. We're heating it, the blue part of the flame. I remember the blue part of the flame is the hottest part of the flame. And as we heat it, you may be able to see up near the mouth of the tube, there are droplets of a colorless liquid. Now, sodium nitrate is a crystalline solid. And remember that crystals contain water of crystallization. So the droplets that we're seeing at the top here, what do you think they might be? As we heat, we're also going to see that we have a liquid collecting in here. And again, that's because as the crystal loses the water, it's going to dissolve in the water. So we need to now drive off this water. We're going to have to heat it hard to drive off that water before it begins to decompose. So you can see the droplets of colorless liquid. And we're heating it. if anything is happening. I'm going to test it. We're not seeing any brown gas. So I'm not going to use my litmus because I'm not seeing any brown gas. And I'm going to use my glowing spin and let's see what happens. Okay, still not quite ready. We're going to heat it some more. And remember, before it begins to decompose, you're going to have to drive off this liquid. We have to heat it hard. I'm heating it in the hottest part of the Bunsen flame. still heating see what happens with my split still nothing happened with my split but we continue to heat now the fact that we have to heat it so much so long and so hard what does that tell you about the stability of the sodium nitrate We're just going to hit it for heat it for a little bit longer. Let's see if we get anything happening. Here's my splint again. Just for a little longer and see. Still not much going on. Still heating. Now we're using our glowing splint so we can see. And it's getting quite hot. I need to burn my hand. And here we have, right near the mouth of the tube, my glowing splint still continues to glow. 
And so that indicates to me my glowing splint hasn't been put out. What does that indicate? The fact that my glowing splint is not put out indicates that you should know what gas is being given off. All right. So we had to heat it for a long time. We had to heat it very hard. But eventually, we had our glowing splint that continued to glow when I put it in the tube.